Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use destructuring assignment to assign variables from nested objects. You can use the same principle from the previous two lessons to destructure values from nested objects using an object similar to previous examples. So here we have a user of John Doe set to this one. This is a nested object because it's, in, it's within an object here. So you could have John and then you could have Jane or something like that in the second uh, parameter. Here's how to extract the values of object properties and assign them to variables with the same name. So here we're setting a constant of John Doe, and then we're saying age and email. So we're assigning <coughs> John Doe to user. And here's how you can assign an object's properties, values, to variables with different names. Uh, yeah, and so John Doe is set to here, age, username, a email, user email. We set that equal to user. Replace the two assignments with an equivalent destructuring assignment. It should still assign the variables low today and high today. Okay. And, and high today, the values of today, low. Today.low. And today.high from the local forecast object. Okay, so this is just kind of like writing JavaScript backwards again. So we're going to be setting up a constant, and then what we want to do is put it inside of an object because it's a nested array. And this is all going to be equal to local forecast. And so we're sort of working backwards through there. What we want to do is set a variable of today, and then inside of that variable, we're going to have an object. And inside of there, we're going to have low set to something, and then high set to something. And uh, we're going to say, make the low, this is going to be the variable that we assign that we can use later in our code. So low today, and then the high is high today. If we get this right, we should see the answer down here. But it says low today has already been declared. Oh, I haven't gotten rid of this code yet. So I just need to get rid of so basically this code, right, this one line of code <clears throat> is taking the place of these two lines of code. So now I just need to get rid of these because we can't double allocate them. And so yeah, now it appears to be correct. The 64 and 77 are coming out. And if we run the test, we see they pass. So yeah, this is just kind of like writing JavaScript backwards. You're, you're creating a object um, set where, where you can assign your own variables to existing variables through here. And why you would do this, I'm not exactly sure. It seems to me to be way easier to do it the other way. It's easy to read. But maybe once you get good enough at JavaScript and understand the C, uh, ES6, uh, con um, maybe this will become the new, the new regular. But I've always done things this way in my uh, professional experience. Anyways, hope this helps. Uh, we ran the test. You see the pass. Cool. Thank you, guys, and see you in the next lesson.